all, Russ here over here TV. Welcome. Check it out. We are in Kingman. This is Andy Divine Avenue. Gonna be running around downtown and do a little exploring, do quite a bit of videoing. I've had so many requests, so today's a day. that we're going to check out Route 66 around Kingman. There's the big water tanks. We'll even come up here. There's a train museum. We'll stop. I thought the first place we'll uh, check out is the Visitor Center Route 66 Museum. We'll go down to Mojave County Museum. back up maybe the train station walk around downtown downtown is under major construction so you can't drive through it we'll have to walk it and we'll run uh, north of town back up 66 see a couple of sites this will be my top five picks top six picks of attractions around Kingman Anyway, sit back, get ready, enjoy the ride, journey starts now. This is the old powerhouse building. They have totally restored it. There is hundreds of thousands, maybe even more visitors here every year. Kingman is a very major attraction on the old Route 66 here. Here's their official sign. This building's old, but still being utilized. It's pretty cool, they got a little museum. We'll walk through it. Let's do our outside walk around first. This whole stretch of Route 66 uh, through Kingman, Oakman, all the way up through Seligman, it's a continuous old road, part of the old road, and uh, all the towns, they really cater to it. They got a lot of old style buildings, motels, and as for tourism, oh my goodness, it's huge even overseas, even Germany, France, Netherlands, Mexico, I mean all over Brazil people come up here. There's the train park, sit over there, locomotive park, down there's Mr. D's. When we do our walk around I'll get closer video of the buildings. You can see there's the Kingman emblem right here in front of the powerhouse. Here's the storyboards out in front of the visitor center here. A lot about the railroads. How long they've been coming through here. I mean, this has been the main artery. And still today, I mean, trains just roar through here. Straight over California. It, this is one of the main train routes. Always like looking at the old pictures. The old black and whites, the old cars, you know, loading all their supplies. I mean, that was it. This is way before the interstates and all the big trucking train was it. Look at that, 1907, that picture. And there's the water tanks back in the day now they got these big murals and they're very well done very colorful we'll be down there I'll go down 
but history, you can just see how far this stuff dates back and it's still being used. Look at that, there's a derailment in 1994. Well, let's go ahead and walk around. Go in the visitor center. But this building, I mean, it's going to be here forever. And they're open pretty much seven days a week. And massive gift shop. Look how high the ceiling is. Looks brand new for the building this old, doesn't it? They got an elevator to get up top. The museum starts in the upper deck. Gotta go up the stairs. Hats, shirts, all kinds of goodies. If you're looking for this kind of memorabilia for the route, this is it. Alright, let's head on up. And restrooms are up here. There's the entrance for the museum. That's kind of looking down over the gift shop. Pretty cool, huh? Old train set there. The building alone is just something to come in and look at. Oh, here's old Angel, the guardian of uh, Angel of Route 66. Barber up in uh, Seligman. Kind of like the ambassador to Route 66. They've changed this display. Huh, this is all new. Oh, all about his life. Look at that. What a life to lead, huh? All part of the historic route. It's six dollars to get in here with a senior discount, and also the ticket is good for the other museum. Mojave County will run down there too. But here it is. Here's your Route 66 Visitor Center Museum here in the great town of Kingman, Arizona. I don't know if the camera picked it up, the people behind me getting their ticket. The guy says, I'm from Germany. You know, and I've heard there's associations, Route 66 associations. Over in Germany, I think Netherlands, they got groups. That's a big deal. They come over and drive the entire route, start in Chicago, go to LA, rent cars, rent RVs. 
Wow, that's a pretty picture, huh? That's cool. They've changed some of this. They, it looks a little different. Very good pictures. There you go, there's your old time RV. Took up the horses, got all your stuff, furniture, food. More pictures about the Harvey girls, huh? A Route 66. This different time, different worlds, huh? But they're saving history here, that's the biggest part. And chunks of the road, the maps, what used to be the old attractions. Look at that, crossing the river. <laughs> oh man. Trading post. Pop in the Model A, go cross country, huh? Yeah. Dirt roads, I mean, forget the pavement. Holbrook to Gallup. That's clear over in the eastern part of the state. Old trains. You can take an Amtrak. I gotta look into that. I'll have to. I'm gonna say too much, but you can actually take a Amtrak right here out of Kingman and go way up over the mountain past Flagstaff, and you end up over in Winslow. I was reading something about that. The Mother Road. Road of Flight. Refugees of the Great Depression. Oh, wow. Yeah, back then, no work. They traveled, huh? Wow, look at those pictures, the old dust bowl. That guy's face says it all right there, huh? Little kids, oh goodness. All they had was hope, huh? But, what an adventure they lived. A lot of people don't know, National Old Trails Highway, that's, that was named that. You'll see signs for the Old Trails Highway. I think there's a building downtown with that all painted on it. More of the sectional maps, Kingman to Seligman, and all that road is still drivable right now. Then going down through Oatman all the way to Needles. We just did that route looking for flowers, which we didn't find many. <laughs> and there's Oatman. But pretty cool. I mean, you can really come in here and get a lot of information on the old route. History. Not only the route, the trains, all of it. Kingman. Pretty cool, huh? And Kingman Airport. Had a big part in World War II. They stored planes there and parted them out. They still do. There you go. Old Studebaker. Yellow. Woof. <laughs> Gotta like that color, huh? And another look at the truck. And some more pictures. 
Got everything you own sitting on the ground with a tent and a car and all your family. How pe they stop people from migrating during the, those days. Some of those pictures don't need any words, do they? And here's their little replica town, kind of cute. And they got the murals. This is great for selfies. You know, I see people in there getting their pictures with the murals. Then the car. All right, downstairs, they got a tiny little electric car display museum. Then the old replica mine, it's so dark down here, you can't film it. I've tried. <laughs> There's their little mine, replica mine, about the mining days, the old gold pan. And the old electric cars. Before Tesla, huh? <laughs> Look at that bullet thing. Universities uh, built them, engineers tested them, electric golf carts. What they call the little Cushman things. Electric motorcycle. We got an electric hot rod. I don't remember that one. It's been a while since I've been in here. There you go. No gas can. Just plug it in and head down the road. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's what it's like here in the visitor center and museum. This is definitely one of the top five sites to see in Kingman. Let's head down to the Mojave County Museum. We'll walk that and then we'll make our way back up towards the water tanks and walk downtown. Got the big murals out here. This one's not open seven days a week. I think it's Tuesday through Saturdays. We'll check it on the door. Anyway, look at that mural. Aren't those cool? That always amazes me, the size of a painting on a building like that. Now this one's more Kingman, Mojave County-ish, but once again it's still part of the 66 theme. And your ticket from the visitor center gets you in here too. It's all included. 
And you can hang on to that ticket. You can come back here as many times as you want. So really, they just make it accessible. You see, they got all the president's pictures. Everything displayed in portraits. Oh, Coca-Cola. Is that Coke Route 66 wine? <laughs> I've never seen that one. The old glass bottles. Boy, now you can't drink anything. Too much sugar. Old jukebox. Back in the day. There's Phillips, 66 sign. Hey, Elvis. James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, they're in the house. Elvis is in the building. And they got a lot of really nice displays here. A lot of about Mojave County, Native American. A lot of art artifacts. For a county museum, this is this is a good one. I commend a lot of these all over the country. And they spent a lot of time, effort, and money in here. More gasoline signs. Then over here, oh, here's that little miniature. They got all the miniatures. Look at how many. I would not have the patience. <laughs> Don't bump it, and they all fall over. Oh, goodness. And low. Dollhouse, all kinds of arts and craft type stuff, miniatures. Pretty cool. And Mojave County, here's where there's a lot about it. The different uh, towns, mining is so huge, ranching, of course. Mojave County covers a massive area. It goes along the Colorado River, borders Nevada. There's a big map of it. Part of the Grand Canyon's in it. I mean, it goes all the way down to Lake Havasu, Bullhead City, Laughlin. But it goes way up to Lake Mead, all that Hoover Dam. You don't realize how big it is. A lot of it's unpopulated. You can't live in it. Old pictures of back in the ranching days. Horses. True cowboys back in the day. Stetson hat. <laughs> How about that? Boots, hat, and a horse. Don't miss the digging doggy days in 1940. Amateur rodeo. The old poster from it. Oh yeah, this thing. The gun has grown into the tree. So someone <laughs> left a gun, a rifle, and a tree grew around it. How about that? Where's your rifle? Well, it's in the tree. <laughs> 
That is crazy. Mines and ghost towns. So you got open chloride, I bet's in here. Yep. Tennessee mine, that's up there in chloride. We were just up there a month or so ago, huh? I filmed it. Got the burrows packing the supplies. A lot of mining up there. Still active. Parts of it. There's the old saloon with the tent. <laughs> mining in Mojave County. There's part of the Colorado River. The old steam boats. City ordinance. No person shall appear in public place naked or in a dress not belonging to his or her. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, that's 1900. So you had to keep your clothes on. And the mining signals with a big bell. Safety. Wow, that's a fancy dress, huh? This is a different world back then. More about mining. And more about Oatman. Now, see, here's where you can connect Route 66 and Oatman. Because this is the true history of the old town when it was mining. Now it's uh, popular for the Route 66 tourist. But just a different time, the amount of gold pulled out of there. 116,000 back in them days. Olive Oatman, they tattooed her. She was held captive. But you can connect Route 66 to this uh, Mojave County Museum. Look at that gold bullion, $95,000 worth back then. It'd probably be in the millions today, huh? Then Hackberry, that's on Route 66. I'm actually going to drive up there. When we get done running around Kingman here, we'll drive up to the general store. But look at all the minerals they pull out of the hills up there. Big turquoise mine off uh, Highway 93 going up towards Vegas. So it's very, very rich here in uh, minerals. There's the Boreana mine. I filmed that a few years ago down by Yucca where they mine tungsten. Now it's all abandoned. That's kind of a cool trip. You need a four-wheeler to go up there though. And there's a pretty good map. What, how big Mojave County is? Huge. Woman owned mine back in those days. That would have been something. Pretty cool.
the old movie actor Andy Devine he was a native here from Kingman was a huge figure here still is in the museum part of Route 66 the Avenue running through towns named after him there's one of his old saddles from probably a movie and part of the war history out there at the Kingman Airport they helped with the effort there it's still a massive uh, storage for jets they dismantle them kind of like the graveyard for the planes There's some of the turquoise comes out of the ground here. It is a huge mining operation. They got a store. I'll have to get up there one day. We'll sh I'll show you that. We can actually buy raw turquoise. That's a nice picture, huh? Big old pipe organ here. Still works. I bet, huh? Yeah, we used to have a guy from the Mormon up there in the tabernacle thing. He used to come through and tune it. Hey, on his way to Phoenix, he wouldn't like, come down to this, but he'd stop and tune it. <laughs> and then we'd take this front off in this little hole where you call it. Yeah. And he kept eating and eating. And before he retired, he got too big to get in there. Oh my so he God. brought his assistant with him there. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Thank you. Old pipe organ still works. Pretty cool. And then over here he's got local Kingman history. high schools and sports and all that all right we say let's cruise over uh, we want to do next train museum So you can decide if this is a top destination. To me it is. It's just part of it. And it's a very well done old uh, museum. So, alright. We say let's uh, train. Yeah. A lot of these old buildings are just restored pretty good sized park there on the left that locomotive park a lot of people like to go in there and take pictures and old Mr. D's I'll walk around downtown we'll walk down through here I need the exercise <laughs> there's one of the old Kingman Signs for the route. Route 66. Okay, right up here where the water tanks are is the actual train depot. Still active. For Amtrak and all that. And inside they got like a little display. Actually big. <laughs> it's huge. Should be open too. Yep. Um, of model trains and all that. 
So let's get parked. We'll go ahead and check it out. Here's these tanks. Let's look at these now. They are huge. Been here a long time. There's the mural. What detail, isn't it? That is really, really detailed. The steam coming out, the wheels, all of it. They got little barcodes here, so you can scan it and get the history of the tanks. Here's the one that you see most of. People will park underneath this and get the picture of their car or stand under it, point up to it. That's the sign you see almost everywhere when people come here. the depot. Amtrak stops here. They actually got uh, webcams along uh, the train tracks. Different locations like Winslow here in Kingman. So you can actually see live uh, feed on YouTube. There's a ton of trains coming through here. Probably got to buy your ticket and stuff online. I don't know. Once again, I'm going to have to check into that. That'd be interesting. That wouldn't even be a bad trip to do run up to Winslow on a train. Whistle Stop Railroad Club. Pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and look at the model trains. It's pretty unique. two dollars I mean it's worth it keeps everything going keeps the lights on but wait to see all these model train setups look at this <laughs> you want to be a kid again get your conductor hat on
I think it's cool. <laughs> Just the detail. Ferris wheel working. Merry-go-round. Takes a lot of patience for this stuff. All the miniature towns. And there's the Kingman water tanks. And the Hotel Beale, right there, replica, and then the powerhouse and all that. And pictures, there's an old train set, 1934, wow. <laughs> I guess so. That's a keepsake. Date nails. Pictures. A lot of old train as the uh, memorabilia. Lights. Oh gosh. Yep. Conductor out waving a light. Signaling. There's your conductor hats. And all the fine china off the trains, the dining cars. More lamps. Engineer jacket. History, they're saving it. My second time in here. I would definitely put this on the list to do and see if you're gonna do the route drive. Why not? It's part of it. Still got the Christmas tree up. More pictures back in here. All the trains that used to roar through here, huh? Oh, the little kids waving. Honk the horn. <laughs> oh, man. Memories. Well, what do you say? You want to take a walk through downtown? Beautiful spring weather. A little windy today. That's kind of typical. They got all the streets tore up. You can't drive downtown. I was going to drive through there, but you can't. So we're going to have to hoof it. Going to have to walk. It's okay. 1907, this depot was built. Still standing. Another plaque about Mojave County and how they're preserving Kingman. There you go. There's the Amtrak sign. Probably just buy your tickets online. I'll definitely have to check into that. I keep saying that be a fun trip. That'd be probably overnight. Go up to Winslow, spend the night, and then come back. Cool.
Well, let's go for a walk. There you go. So many selfies I've driven through here so many times, people are just getting a picture with it. <laughs> Part of being around Kingman. Pretty good restaurant across the street, you always hear good about it. I'd say they're widening the sidewalks. I bet these businesses don't like this. At all. But very colorful, very restored downtown area. This is part of the original Old Town Kingman. That's a bank there. Well, I don't have to worry about traffic, do I? <laughs> yeah, Wells Fargo, some of the shops. Restaurants, I got on the street eating. Or they did. <laughs> Probably still do. So you can come down and get something to eat. Do a little shopping. I think there's a brewery down here somewhere. But when you see a lot of pictures online, a lot of the Facebook groups and posts, you'll see quite a bit of downtown Kingman here. Well, it's too bad, so it tore up, but part of it, they're improving it. Here's one of the outdoor areas I've seen. Normally I'm driving through here. <laughs> I don't walk it very often. The Kingman Club. More shops. Stop in and have a cold one, something to eat. of hops. How about a quilt shop? There you go. Quilters hide away. Oh, look at the old car up there. Kettle huts. Antique collectibles. That's cool. Never noticed that. Of course, when you drive through, I guess I've missed it. In the old theater sign, Beale Street Theater. Looks like they're doing some remodel on that. And you can just see the old style buildings, what they look like. Here's the old post office, still active, that's still an active post office. There's Andy Devine street sign. We've seen him in the museum. That's original old building, they're still using it. Then this drugstore sign, that's part of the old days too. You just don't see uh, architecture like that, do you? Everything all brick with the pillars. Then this old sign. It's part of the old history here too. There's your Kingman mural. A lot of people get pictures here.
about a cup of mud on 66 coffee shop that's kind of new outdoor seating everyone's got to stop and get some ice cream <laughs> heck yeah then they got this old Airstream set up for ice cream. Desert Outfitters. Old gas station. They turned it into a store. And it's open. There's that old Airstream for the ice cream. That rhymes. Airstream for ice cream. <laughs> cool. Well, part of being down here on the old route. And you can see uh, the old buildings. They got them all painted up, lettered up. Kind of cool. They even got a picnic table sitting out there for you. They want your business down here. Car repair places and that kind of thing. Duke's Auto Repair. Farmers Market Saturdays, 8 a.m. Right down here. I'll have to come down to that. And then this place, Thunder Rock, they got all kinds of merch, flags, memorabilia. They're always busy. Very colorful building. All their stuff's displayed well. A lot of biker stuff. Okay, here's Mr. D's. Now you gotta put this on one of your top stops for this area. Got the old trucks. That they got a cop car around here somewhere. Old style food. I'm not gonna go in today, but it's really good food. They give you a platter of food. I mean, you do not walk out hungry. It's old style, family style. You know, burgers, fries, mashed potatoes and gravy type eating and cooking. D's for Dutton. Established 1992. Got really just the whole theme of Route 66 here. Right across from the visitor center. How about a Mr. D's pizza, huh? <laughs> the old car with the eyelashes. <laughs> oh, here's the cop car. Here you go. Isn't that neat? This the whole vibe and theme of Route 66 right here. And here's this Dutton Motors. They got old cars on display inside. There it is, old hot rods. 396 cubic inch, got the checkered flag looking tile on the floor, 
Willy fast there. <laughs> All decked out. Got the big emblem there. Concrete. We buy cars. They must still sell them, huh? I don't know. Dunton Motors. Dream Machines. Look at that cash for anything. I bet they do. 1946. There's your Willy Fast. How cool, huh? Alright, here's what they got for sale. Twelve grand. Twelve grand. <laughs> Everything's twelve grand. Was that a javelin? Isn't that what that is? I don't I don't know cars very well. Well there's a Jeep. Ten grand with a new engine. Thing looks like a tank. And the pickup, 12 grand. <laughs> Everything's 12 grand. How do you notice this? Here's a sign. Original historic 1940s neon sign. So that drugstore, let me get you, a, it's here at the post office, 1940 neon sign. There you go, Desert Drugs. All right, well, let's head on back towards the van. Little outdoor area. Kingman does it right. They like tourism here. They welcome everyone. There's a map of the downtown area, list of all their businesses and restaurants, cafes. Looks like new and old places. Here's that sign, Old Trails. Old Trails Garage, Studebaker. Mel Templeton. Templeman. Mel Templeman. Chevrolet, Buick, Packard. I like that old sign. This fits the theme. Route 66. Come down and get your picture in front of this place. Italian cuisine. I never even knew. I bet that is good. Huh. Learn something new every day. I'll check that out. Here's the old hotels. Balcony. Ah, a little plaque. The Brunswick. Brunswick Hotel. Used to have 50 cowboy rooms. Shared bath. Now it's a restaurant. Hotel Brunswick. Isn't that something? I'll have to check it too. Get something to eat down here. Here you go. Sportsman Bar. Get you a cold one. Lovin' Building. 1906. Wow. 
I like how they got these barcodes you can look up history. And this is the old Hotel Beale all closed up. That would probably take a fortune to restore this place. Nighthawk Saloon closed. Old mural. I bet someone might. They might get this building and uh, reopen it as a hotel. That'd be something, wouldn't it? They did that. Pretty cool. Well, that's your downtown area. Hope you enjoyed it. Pretty cool look at downtown. Too bad the streets are tore up. Couldn't drive it, but oh well. There's a courthouse a couple blocks up with a dome on it. Small one, Mojave County. A lot of the local government offices, all that are down here. But just a neat place. Old railroad town. All kinds of cool stuff. In the history, oh my goodness, just endless here. So for a top destination, I would definitely make this downtown area. The whole thing one. <laughs> Like selfie at the water tanks, train museum. Gotta grab a bite to eat at Mr. D's visitor center, all of that down here. But wait, there's more. I'm gonna drive out of town. We're gonna go up the road about 20, 25 miles up near uh, Hackberry store and all that. Do a little bit of the stretch of uh, Route 66. Getting out here near I-40. Old uptown drug there. It's been there forever. This is where all the hotels are. A lot of the older ones are going to the wayside. New ones, you know. Uh, like this Holiday Inn up here express. That's probably a good one to stay at. Alright, we're going to run out here to Antares and Hackberry. 
They call this AZ-66, but it's still the origi this original road from back in the day. Flat open road. Crank up the radio. You're on Route 66 right here. Okay, here off to the left is a little community called Valley Vista. They got wineries. A few miles off the road, you'd make a left up here on the street. Follow it all the way out. There's wineries here, golf course, kind of a retirement style community. Pretty nice little gas station there, dollar store, that kind of thing. Then, right here to the left, I'll drive through the driveway here. It's called Mike's Outpost. It's the original Route 66 building. It's a bar restaurant. They got little RV hookups here. Pretty popular. They got pretty good food. Grab you a cold one. All kinds of cool stuff. They got the wagons up on the porch. You always see people here getting selfies and taking pictures and getting something to eat. Pretty good little stop. Let's keep on trucking. We're going to run up here on Terrace. They got some really cool artwork. All Route 66 themed. Here it is here, that A-frame building. There is a tiny RV parked behind it. It's got cool old cars. Let me pull in a sec. Take a little walk. Looks like they've got rooms they ran out. Check this out. Caution, baby rattlers. You ready? Don't be scared. <laughs> Baby toys. And they got t-shirts, hats, all the different kinds of Route 66 memorabilia. You can see it used to be an old restaurant here too. Got the old truck here. Old cars, the old tow truck. Just an old, old place. Back in the day, it was probably a busy, busy gas station. And everybody stops. You see this online. Everyone gets a selfie next to that green statue thing. <laughs> and more of the old cars. 
Also, the guy here, he's uh, like a metal sculpture. He makes all this artwork. There you can see saw blades all welded together. They got a big land sale. That's what that tent is over there. Big, huge land sale. They sell developed or undeveloped properties out here. It's like a land rush. But look at all the sculptures. Here's the Queen of Route 66. Her statue sculpture. And more old cars. Old Corvette. <laughs> like a cop car. <laughs> this is in Terrace Road. This road will actually take you all the way over close to Meadview. It's all dirt, but you can actually get to Grand Canyon West. Trucking down that road right there. And here's their official sign on Terrace Point, Route 66. Well, one more stop. We'll run up to Hackberry. The old general store up there. Check that. There's another train heading down the tracks. Constant. Never ends. Hey, I know this van. Right up the road here, about half mile, will be the old time Hackberry General Store. This place is really decked out. It's like a museum. They sell a ton of uh, merch for Route 66. Okay, let me get parked. Get out of the way here. There's an old car. Look at the old gas pumps, huh? All right, let's go inside first. Sign your dollar bill. Hang it on the wall. Pin it. License plates. Just everything and anything. Hey, there's Elvis again. Elvis is following us. <laughs> Old jukebox. But they got everything and anything. Route 66 Opoly. Their own Monopoly game. Pretty cool, huh? Then all kinds of merch. Oh, that's he had cool. a real bus. Two of them. Okay. Right? 
cool clocks, stickers, hats. Get a snack, something to drink here. Well, let's go outside. They got uh, cool cars and stuff out there. All the old gas pumps. Back in the day. And all the stickers. There's a Philip 66 sign. This is Hackberry, Arizona. Oh, look what I spotted. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Our viewer TV was here. <laughs> Wonder who put that up there. But just a fun stop. Lots of selfie pictures. Grab a picture with your car by the pumps. Let's see, we'll get the van. Van we gotta make the van happy here. So alright van, there's your picture with the the old station. <laughs> around back, we can walk around. They got more old cars. Here's some old pumps out here. But everybody stops at this one. Matter of fact, coming up a couple weeks, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th is the fun run. Route 66 fun run out of Kingman. I'm going to be all over this area filming it. Stay tuned. Remember the old station wagons, huh? You never see, they don't make nothing like that anymore. You could load up the back of it full of kids and stuff and take off and go camping, fishing, use them for work. There's like a neat old shop set up here. Old structure still standing. Rusted old metal tools. So you can see there's a photographer's dream coming in place like this. If you get a chance, get over to my website, rvertv.tv. Sign up for the free newsletter that we keep track of all the current and newest stuff coming out on RVR TV. Plus, I got puzzle downloads. Free screen savers, merch store, hats, shirts, all kinds of cool stuff, stickers, cookbooks, coloring books, all that which helps support the channel and future videos like this one about Kingman and Route 66. So what's the top five around Kingman? In my opinion, it would be first the visitor center for sure. Mr. D's get something to eat. Walking downtown, just checking out the shops be third. Train museum fourth. And I'd say up here towards in Terrace and uh, Hackberry be fifth. But also don't forget the Mojave County Museum. There's all kinds of cafes, all kinds of different things to do around this area for sure.
also here in a couple weeks don't forget the fun run route 66 fun run i've been wanting to film it for a very long time and finally this year i'm gonna have the opportunity to do it and i'll be up the road here too as well up near valentine station talk soon <laughs>